Every human being needs care, love and attention, just like a seed. We give water and food to a seed for it to grow into a large tree. What if the seed only got a little food or a little light? Would it give up? No, it would still grow into the largest tree it could be. Just because we have small beginnings, it doesn't mean we will crumble. It only means that we will grab opportunities so much faster. Indus International Community School is designed to support and educate the rural poor who live below the poverty line. This non-profitable trust provides equal opportunity education to the underprivileged living in its vicinity. The children are provided with transport and midday meals alongside school uniforms, textbooks and stationery completely free of cost. Tulsi is one of the school's many high achievers. She excels at public speaking. My inspiration was uh, actually the school, Indus, Indus International Community School. Actually, uh, all the opportunities I got in my school to excel in the public speaking and all the public speaking classes I have got and uh, through, through my technology and other resources which, uh, which are uh, available at IICS, that is Inter Indus International Community School. Uh, that inspired me to excel in the uh, public speaking. Uh, it has helped me by not only uh, uh, providing opportunities for academic uh, intelligence but also uh, providing uh, other facilities and other uh, opportunities like leadership competencies and all those skills it taught us for le uh, profiles, um, uh, many IB profiles and it gave us technology as the medium to, uh, to learn our subjects or whatever the topics and it helped us to go beyond our uh, textbook normal way of learning and explore uh, beyond the textbooks. The children here throw themselves heart and soul into balancing all aspects of whole education. Despite the rigorous curriculum they face, IICS has many unique achievers. The principal, along with her team of committed teachers, educates each child in the way that suits them best. See, whole education as a school, we, it's a wonderful thing because when we have the mother school, General and Mrs. Rao, they're very, very particular in this child getting everything that the child in the international school gets. They want him to be as good in art, as good in sports. They have specifically had the vision of the target sports. He wanted the uh, music. So the entire gamut that's given there is given to this particular child. Every child here has the opportunity to take part in any of these events. Now he, he talks about excellence. That's what we require. Now here what we do is we don't give it like to everybody. We give it to those who are inclined and have the ability, capability and the, they can sustain it. They should have endurance in it. Because we will not waste the child's time if he's better in chess and he's not good in horse riding and we're making him do horse riding. So what we do is we, we give him a period of uh, a month, of uh, 40 days in every event. Suppose he his endurance and the coach is able to find that he is able to excel, he will be taken. He will be given specialized coaching there. He goes into the next core group where we are focused on him in this particular aspect. So that same whole goes for music, art and uh, drama, uh, sports, academics, uh, public speaking, every aspect of it. Because we don't push the child to do something he's not able to do when he is a non-achieve later in future. Because we look at him in a long term rather than just the short term. He may be unhappy now, but we make him learn and make him understand what he's really good at. 
IICS and IISB work together on many occasions. All the children at IICS are given equal opportunities to participate and work towards success. IICS and IISB cooperate all the year round to host many fests and summits. The Indus International Community School is the brainchild of our visionary CEO, Lieutenant General Arjun Ray, who has made sure that this dream of his turned into reality within a few months of its conception. Uh, I firmly believe that schools must have a social objective. It cannot be just academics or, uh, or even co-curricular and extracurricular activities. Uh, schools like uh, Indus, uh, where children come from a very privileged background, cannot be islands of wealth and affluence. It's very, very important for us that our children are integrated with the country's mainstream and they are sensitized to the problems of what our society faces. There is therefore a requirement to extend the boundaries of our classroom beyond the campus. And the Indus International Community School gives us that opportunity where the principal has integrated, Mrs. Zhao has integrated the main school children with the community school, thereby increasing their levels of empathy and compassion. And the second um, um, thought process or objective for the community school was that uh, everybody provides, uh, there are many people who provide education to uh, the underprivileged, but there is a difference. This is an equal opportunity school, the only equal opportunity school in India and maybe in the world. And the difference is this, that the underprivileged children get the same privileges in terms of resources, in terms of food, in terms of flowers and sunshine and sports, whatever, as the privileged children get. So life is about giving opportunity to people. This young go-getter has been developing her golf skills for the past three years. Sanya from grade 9 is the head girl of IICS and is a role model for the rest of the school. My parents were like, what? You are going to play golf. Like, as they were not knowing much about golf, and I belong to a very Muslim traditional family, and they don't wanted me to go out and play this game. Because, like, I wanted to go there and play tournaments, compete with the people there, and bring glo glory to my country. हमको मैं बोले नहीं होता देखो पढ़ने का होता है ये भी वो भी कैसा होता है तो नहीं हमें स्कूल से कैसे कर लेती हूँ वहाँ से अच्छा मैं इंप्रूव हो जाती हूँ करने में खर्च चलो कर को बोल को डाला लेस where do these children come from? Most of the children who study at IICS come from Kalahali, a local village in Sajapur. Many of them live at the orphanage there. IICS follows the concept of payback commitment to the community. These projects will act as social incubators, helping the students by giving them the capability to help the larger community in the true sense. Ashed of grade 9 used to live at the orphanage. During an emergency when he had to rush a child to the hospital, 
he realized that he wanted to be someone who can really make a difference in such situations. So he decided to be a doctor, a neurosurgeon to be specific. I wanted to study because some of the incidents in the hospital, I saw some of the incidents in the hospital, I wanted to study and I wanted to become a doctor. So I learned some English skills in the hospital. Then I went and gave the admission in admission letter in the ISS. Then I gave the internal exam. Then I passed from the internal exam through my health and skills of from the hospital. So like that. Some of the incidents made me to go and join the ISS of the country. So I want to become a doctor. So I wanted to start studying from now on. Like I give advice them that they should study well. Like uh, they should become something in their life. They should not do nothing in their life. They should study, uh, study well and become something in their life. And serve other people, poor people who are there. Like how others are helping them after they become something. Even they should have go and help other people. Twins, Faisal and Farhad, are aiming to achieve their father's dream of being a renowned jockey. Supported by the school, they travel into the city every day to put in grueling practice at Bangalore's race course. Uh, it is my father who inspired me because it was his aim to become a jockey. To some financial uh, problems, he couldn't become a jockey and uh, later on we joined to the Indus International Community School where we saw the horses trained by some uh, experts, some uh, army experts and he wanted us to join to that, uh, to take that opportunity and join to horse riding and later on we can become some jockeys. So uh, th this is my fourth year I'm doing horse riding at ISCS. So I have faced many problems while uh, getting my training. So Mr. Rajesh, he thought like many, uh, the many times you fall from the horses, the many times you improve. And I've been to, uh, now I'm in race course, uh, like getting training from a, a Indian famous jockey, Mr. Marshall and Mr. Uh, Aslam Father. So the, they both are the famous jockeys of India. So the, those uh, two are training for us to become the jockeys. So in few more months, I'm going to be become like a, a riding boy. And then later, after three years, after my training, I'm going to become a jockey. I was surprised to see that after joining them, my children in the IACS, International Community School of Indus, they got this opportunity, it's a fantastic to me that my children's future will be at Doinawai. They will have a lot of, apart from the education, is, they will have a lot of money. The future will be a fantastic great to see in the future. Uh, it's very, I can't able to say that we have unable to judge them, unable to give them such a uh, lot of expenditure being given by the institution of uh, Indus International Community School to them. A lot of money has been spent on them for the mm -hmm. horse heading academy. They used to give all the transportation to the horse um, race course and from there they will back to the school and after that soon they came to the school, they will get the breakfast there itself. A lot of changes they will have. If another two, three years, definitely they will be a great jockeys of India, I believe too. Karate is a discipline sport, which is a day-to-day -day activity that helps the children on their focus in other areas like academics and cultural activities. Farheen and Kaushik are recognized at school for their talents in this martial art. My mom was not liking so much to play karate. It's, uh, it's very dangerous. It's, she will say like that, but mom, I will practice and I will become something. But my, my mom was like to become something. I was to, I was to go in the car in somewhere. I was to, but my um, I uh, my father was liking karate so much. So my my father said you have to wear which uh, private school you will like that you can go in that and you have to practice karate and you have to become something. When I came to for IS, yes, after they they did very hard work in my education. After that they they make me to get under for hundred ninety nine. 99 and I got in uh, in karate gold medal in uh, I'll go for uh, athletics even I got the medal certificate uh, after that I got I, I in running dress I got third medal I got so many medals.